spec out comes to 212,000 euros. Hi. Yeah, I might just stay in here. I like it. It's nice. It really worked hard on the interior cabin of the uh, of the M5, so so you might as well sort of enjoy it. I'm gonna, you know, yeah. It's just it's just nice in here, really. Hey. Morning. Hi. You join me in probably not the most scenic spot I've ever started a video. I'm currently in the drop off of Brussels Airport. That's right. I'm in Belgium. I am looking for my pickup, but I have no clue where it is. I can hear beeping. That means the pickup is around. This is what I call an airport pickup. Look at you! Finally. How are you? Good man. I found you, yeah, finally, yeah, exactly. Like... Yeah, amazing. Cool. This okay. is epic. This is so nice. It's Thank awesome. you for coming to pick me up. Welcome inside the Super Wow. Got white leather, that's a that's a bold move, but it looks really cool. Explain to me what we're doing today because I have absolutely no clue. We okay. come here for an event which takes place tomorrow. Yeah. But we decided to come one day early so we could experience the new M5 properly. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah. What what do you have in store for us today? Six hundred horses. That's good. And we're gonna go to a ghost city. Ghost, a ghost city. Ghost. Oh. Food! How are how are Belgian petrol stations? No comment, no comment. I want to. Keep oh really? You want to keep coming in Belgium? Okay, yeah, okay. Oh really? Are they not that good? Okay, well let's see. I mean it's pretty busy. Do you reckon we'll we'll be able to get a table, Emre? Right? Smashed it. Lovely. Need to actually sleep. See you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Where have you brought me? Look at this. I feel tiny. It doesn't come up on camera, but oh my god, each one of those containers is huge. I mean, that is a boat. I mean, my brain cannot comprehend how <laughs> massive that is. Yep, yep, yep. This place is, uh, it's pretty insane, really. But it also seems like a fitting place to show you around this brand new M5. Now, this is actually a first edition from BMW Amsterdam. They lent us this car. So first edition, Amrit, means there are 400 worldwide, right? Yeah. Exactly, 600 horsepower. I've seen 591 brake horsepower. This one has loads of options, doesn't it? It's loaded and also individual. Individ oh, it's got BMW individual options on it. So it's got, first of all, this really rather nice sort of deep burgundy red uh, matte if paint. If you look closely, you can see the metallic. Yeah, it's a metallic matte. It's really, really nice, actually. Uh, and then round the outside, so we'll do this first. We've got the quad exhaust tinted in black with the black diffuser back here, okay, which later, looks marvelous. Later, later. Oh. You can give us some revs. Let's see how this twin turbocharged V8 sounds. Whoa, that pops now. It's very meaty. For I mean, turbocharged engines. This is a twin turbo V8. Yeah. Are starting to sound better, aren't they? They're kind of figuring it out a oh, bit the more. Ace, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uphill from here, I feel. But so that's very nice. You then got this little lip spoiler right here, which is finished in black. Can you get that in carbon? Probably. Yeah probably an option yeah. this one has the carbon roof it's then got these rims which are lovely so with the first edition pack you obviously you get this color and you get this overall spec we'll show you inside where you get everything blacked out around the outside so starting off with the rims it's then got the optional even for first edition carbon ceramic brakes which are around 10,000 euros a lot, of money. a lot of money so as I said yes everything blacked out so little details like here this is blacked out blacked out around the M5 logos here and the front grill completely blacked out which looks very nice and very meaty but the main action of this car comes in on the interior doesn't it yeah. so as you can tell we've got this white leather with red stitching this as I said is the first edition spec so then we've got piano black as a finish and then inside it is just a marvelous place to be with so much technology you've got this completely redesigned interior so new dash new steering wheel with what I think are some very cool M1 M2 um, pre-setting buttons so you can save your settings in here so that when you click on one it will be like full comfort for example and on the other it will be fully sport you can zoom in you will see the settings watch it press it twice for a confirmation there you go two wheel drive. oh yeah oh so that goes into two wheel drive yeah this car will we'll tell you more about the driving when we're actually driving but it can actually switch from four wheel drive to two wheel drive as can its biggest competitor the e63s 
but it's very very cool to be able to I mean who would have thought that that was actually possible never yeah I mean it's so so cool so you get the best of both worlds if you want four-wheel drive you got that if you want to hoon around a bit you can do that as well so then we've got these new redesigned seats on the interior which are lovely really hold you in quite nicely I actually think they look really cool as well this is lighted up at me Seriously? This lights up? Yeah. No, well obviously we can't see it now, but that's very, very cool. And then things like this car will go up to 305 kilometers an hour automatically limited with the M option. Probably without limiter it goes 320, maybe 330. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. But at the same time, if you click this button right here, you can have a seat massage as you do your 300 kilometers an hour. So you can see it up there. We've got seat massage, heated steering wheel, uh, memory packs, you can have two different memories for the seat. Uh, let's show the cameras. This is very cool. So if you click on the camera here, you can get a 360 degree view. Okay, press this one. Press the, the parking. The park pilot camera, yeah. You can literally just see exactly where you're parked. And I may be boring, but this may actually be one of my favorite features of the entire car. I think that's just so cool. How they do it, I have no idea. Don't ask me to explain how it works because that is beyond me right now, but yeah. Anyway, it's very, very nice. Shame they don't have it in the spec of your car. No. That would, that would be like the cherry on the cake. Basically, anything you can ask for. Bowers and Wilkins sound system. In the rear, we've got the shades. We've got little TVs. Entertainment system. Yeah. Ah, it's just, it's gorgeous. Dutch prices. Dutch price. This car, spec'd out, comes to 212,000 euros. There are some pretty substantial Dutch taxes on top of that. But this car is not cheap but neither is the e63 s so if you're in the market for a car like this you want a 600 horsepower four slash two wheel drive super saloon oh, this is beautiful i've never experienced the e63 s but from what i've heard this is slightly more comfortable a bit less brutal but slightly more usable and comfortable. Yeah, and also a bit more stealthy business-wise. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's maybe about time we actually uh, got out there and see how this thing drives. We're about to enter a ghost village. Oh, so this is the, I thought that was the ghost, go, go, no. ghost village. No, that's this, not it. Look, look there, nuclear plant, my mate. You see that? No, that is yeah. creepy. So the name is Duel. That's huge. That's the name. Duel? Yeah. Centrum presumably means so, center. In Dutch here says, don't disrespect, behave, blah, 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 because there's still a few people living. There's still a few people who live here. Yeah. So why does no one live here anymore? Because of the nuclear power plant? Yeah, there was some 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 meltdown stuff issues in the oh. history. Should I, I get should I get a mask out or something? We are safe. Okay, good to know. Cheers for bringing me here. Yeah, I'm not too it. sure how I feel about this, guys. We're in a we're right next. Oh god, we're right next to a nuclear power plant. You're clearly in sports suspension, aren't you, you cheeky yeah. little man? Yeah. That was that was us. There's some unusual exterior decoration right there. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, uh, this is this at night is something out of a horror. What? What? The f. What? We're going to a ghost town. What? Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What was that? Literally, what was that? What is this place? Who are these people now? Oh, these are tourists. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, look, Why is there a pimped out Peugeot just casually in a field? I think photo, photo shooting, mate. <laughs> Wow. Right, right, right. Recap, recap. Why were there two clowns in the middle of the street with like, didn't they have like axes or something? Yeah, but were, were, were they fake? Rewind, please. Yeah, rewind. Hi. Right, yep, no, that is definitely officially creepy. Mm hmm. This is weird. Oh, I don't like this. We have one church. I don't, oh no, not a church. I'm closing my window. <laughs> bye bye. Are you vlogging? Make sure to subscribe this channel. This guy is literally always plugging. After that, subscribe his channel. Yes, at least you plug me too. Right, so, so clearly if you want to find vloggers, just come to ghost towns. It seems like we all hang out around these sorts of areas. It is really a nice car. Thank you. Yeah. It's not us. <laughs> it just lands it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No, there's a park. There's a ch oh, there's a park. No, 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 no. That is too creepy. Look We're at, not stopping here. <gasps> What? Why? 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 Why would you do that? Why? That's just. You know, whenever you feel like going to a new location, I'm I just. Why just so, so you serious? Know. Right. No, that was. <laughs> that was. That was odd. The, the haircut's wrong, though. I'm not gonna lie. They could have done the haircut better. <laughs> I don't want to get out. Do I have to? Who are you? What are these people? Where did they come from? There were no people around here a second ago. They just popped out of nowhere. I'm gonna 
when I got out, I suddenly said to people, I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I might just stay in here. I like it. It's nice. It really worked hard on the interior cabin of the uh, of the M5, so so you might as well sort of enjoy it. I'm gonna, you know, yeah. It's just it's just nice in here, really. Who's? Oh, it's Amrit. Jeez, I just saw in the sca camera screen. I saw someone there. I was like. <gasps> Death is upon me. Mr. Car Vlogger is doing a driving series right now. He's getting B-roll. I'm sort of just left around. Decided to explore out of the car a bit. Probably not a good idea. Look how creepy this is. All the all the houses are like barred off so you can't go in, but ooh, oh, I don't like that. Ah, I'm going back there. I'm going back to the car. I'm going back, back, back. Amrit, I'm gonna be staying within two meters of you at all times. Just what so you know. What happened? Yeah, I, I just looked inside a building. That's all that happened. Nothing very special. Let's go. Back. 